Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I am VP CRM and Data Analysis with BISP. Recently, we introduced a new feature in BISP Salesforce application. We have integrated GoToMeeting with our Salesforce. So I decided to share the same requirement, same solution with all of you. So let's figure out the business requirement. So my business requirement means we use in BISP, we used to hold a couple of meetings, webinars or batches by GoToMeeting. So we would like to capture the list of all the attendees into Salesforce, those who have attended or registered a meeting host using GoToMeeting so that we can convert them into lead for future. So we have done, we have integrated GoToMeeting with Salesforce. And for doing this, we don't, don't need to write any code because there is an inbuilt app exchange, uh, uh, an app available within app exchange named as GoToMeeting. We need to simply down install that app with our subscription with our Salesforce application. So let's have a look. How can we integrate GoToMeeting with Salesforce? So as you can see here right now, this is my GoToMeeting subscription where we have got a couple of training sessions going on. And I would like to get list of all the attendees, those who have attended these sessions so that we can convert them into leads and share our product details with them or the upcoming courses and the business solutions with them to increase our sale, to increase our revenue. So for this, first of all, you would be requiring one GoToMeeting account. It is preferable if you have got a genuine account. Second thing, you should have a developer's account of Salesforce. Even if you don't have developer's account, you should have administrative privileges to integrate GoToMeeting with Salesforce because for app exchange admin privileges are required then i'll switch to my salesforce and as you can see here right now i am on my sales application and i would like to integrate go to meeting so for that i'll switch to app exchange and in app exchange i search for citrix go to meeting for salesforce app so it's an app if you want to know more details about this app you can click on details and you can get all the details about it you can get the reviews and who is the provider for this app and so as you can see here start meeting instantly with a simple click from your salesforce contact screen and it would be easy to using go to meeting which includes integrate audio hd videos conferencing and screen sharing and so on so a go to meeting account is required as i have already told you this now to get this app you can see one button named as get it now so you need to click on this app you need to click on this button i click on this get it now button it is asking for if you don't have login it will ask you to log in as a guest but as i've told you it is preferable that you should have a salesforce credentials so I already have got my Salesforce credentials. So I click on login into app exchange. After that, you need to select would you like to install in your, directly into your production or into your sandbox. So I, I want to install it in my production. So I click install in production. In next screen, we need to review the customization guide and uh, that's the username. That's my Salesforce account username and the duration is does not expire. So we can use this go to meeting tool along with the subscription as long as we want. So it is free of cost and uh, it will never expire. I check this option and click on confirm and stall. If you want to cancel the installation or back to the previous step, we have those options as well.
so once the integration will be completed it will give a list so before displaying the list it is asking me to provide my username my salesforce credentials again so let me provide my credentials and uh, i close the existing login So it will complete the process here it is asking whether we would like this integration this tool to be av av uh, available for all users so yes i want to install it for all users and yes i want to grant api.citrix online so these are the packages which may send or receive data from third party websites so i uh, i just give them permissions and click on continue I got the confirmation message for installation complete click on done and within my salesforce under install package it provided me it gives me a detail that how many packages has been installed or how many additional applications we have installed in current subscription so there is only one application has been installed just now that is go to meeting for salesforce and it is active we can uninstall it we can get the uh, get the further details by clicking on this so and if you, so as you can see here i'm not getting options about this go to meeting of the package which we have installed so i click on this plus sign because we need to configure further so i'm getting three options three options i'm getting go to meeting logs go to meeting sessions go to meeting user settings so i click on customize my tabs first of all because i would like to add this go to meeting user settings over here and uh, this we can configure only in administrator's account administrative privileges so for other users by going into settings we can hide these tabs for other users so i'm not requiring so instead of reports and dashboards and product solution cases and orders uh, i would like to add go to meeting so you can see we have go to meeting admin settings attendees log sessions user settings exceptions any errors are coming go to meeting attendee will give us a list of all the go to meetings uh, those who have attended and attendee match admin settings so i'll just add all of them and save it so being an administrator i am displaying all these things all the options in my object bar we can hide this for rest of the users so very first thing i'll go to go to meeting user settings Now to set up integration, first of all, I need to click the GoToMeeting account. So I click on set up integration. And it has the GoToMeeting Salesforce has been installed. So, so once integration is done, it is asking me to connect to GoToMeeting. So it will ask me to connect an account. So I click on connect an account. and because i have already logged in into go to meeting so it asked the permission to allow and i will check log settings and synchronize my meetings so meeting synchronization occurred nightly so every night this meeting will be synchronized automatically and if we have added any meeting or deleted any meeting or uh, created any new meeting that meeting will auto synchronize with our salesforce subscription so let's go and check the list of go to meetings first of all so i, I say click on go to meeting logs sorry go, click on go to meeting sessions not on go to meeting logs click on go to meeting sessions here logs is for any error any issues will be coming so that is for logging so i click on go to meeting sessions and uh, here you can see all the meetings which we have created within go to meeting so if we count the number of meetings we have one two three four five six seven meetings are there so these are the seven meetings one two three four five six seven and 
the number of attendees those are unique attendees so the list of attendees will be coming here it, it gives uh, it it explain it provided us the number of attendees those who have attended the meeting and uh, the 14 attendees they have attended this meeting i would like to get their list so i click on salesforce wave analytics and it gives me a list of all the attendees those who have attended so i click on go to list 14 and i can get list of all the users along with their email ids if they have provided their mail id if they haven't provided their mail id we won't be we won't able to get their mail id at the same time you can see just in the within the meeting i'm getting one option called new attendees or sorry new leads so i can generate a lead so for example uh, that's the user those who uh, he has attended this meeting and i want to create a lead for this user so i click on create lead and it will create a new lead for me so as soon as i click on create lead option for this so it creates a new lead and also provided the names it also capture the name from there Company name is mandatory because company name is not provided. So a couple of details which we need to provide. So I just provide this detail and the phone number. Phone number is also not provided over there. We are not capturing phone numbers. We are capturing the mail attendee name. And so email ID is already there. And lead status is open. And we can further create, generate this lead. So I click on save and the new lead has been generated. Now we can follow up this lead and assign this lead to a specific user. Specific anytime if we want to close the go to meeting integration we simply click on go to meeting user settings and we have an option called disconnect so we can disconnect from the go to meeting and we can connect to another go to meeting because as you can see here this go to meeting will be going to expire in nine days so after nine days i would like to integrate it with a new go to meeting id so i will disconnect it from here and integrate it with new meeting id so that's all i hope you got a clear idea that how can we integrate go to meeting with salesforce so for further details for more information on salesforce you can contact us on the following mail ids and the addresses and the phone numbers given here we are expert in giving training salesforce training also will be providing consultant services on salesforce so you can reach us for both of them or any one of them thank you for watching goodbye